Hello everyone, it has been a while. So we've had several things, we've uh, gone through some changes and everything, and uh, we've decided to swap from doing Project Toaster to splitting Project Toaster back into two games, into RPS, Tactics, and Project Toaster, and uh, we've decided to work on RPS Tactics first. So this is our first official devlog for RPS Tactics. Let's get down into it. So this is where we left off for the last devlog, I believe. We had the uh, thing fairly shaded. We uh, missing a few parts. Doors looked like crap. Lots of this, that, and other. So now that we're in RPS Tactics, we have uh, several here that are uh, quite uh, done. We have uh, all of the castle tiles in gray with the actual color scheme. We also have everything here in blue as well as everything here in red and purple too and we also have all the windows in every color so then here we have our paper it done in high res we went with the stylization choice right now of keeping the old kind of style eyes and mouth here we have the uh new scissors in high res and finally we have the the rock here in high res and i'm not happy with this one i'm definitely going to redo this one I don't like it. It's getting redone. I don't know what I'm going to do here, but I'm going to do something. It doesn't look good as is. If you guys have any suggestions, leave it down in the comments, please. And this will be where you select what map you want to play. So here we have the second version of it with uh, more effects, you know, making the paper look better. And uh, we have the initial kind of layout of the map. And here's the next version that has the boards changed slightly and uh, the paper has been changed and several little things have been changed. Lots of work have went into this version. And here we have a gradient technique to where we have the red, the blue with the purple in the middle and the gray on the top, which you'll notice what we use this in next. So then here is one of the final versions of the map with the gradient and we have the trees laid out and everything. As you can see, the gradient going from red to blue to gray up here with purple in the middle to represent the red castle, the purple barracks, the blue castle and the gray castle. And then we have the second version of the final map where it does not use a gradient and it just uses the uh, brown more realistic to the map looking. And then we have the third version of the final map where it is brown, the brown writing. This is the most realistic version. We're not sure which version we're gonna use. We may edit each of them. So from everybody's feedback so far, everybody has said they like this version better. They have suggested that I lighten up the water and make it look more like it's printed on there, which I may do. And uh, we're, we're still looking for feedback, so if, any of you guys in the comments have any feedback on any of the three maps, please let us know down below. Now into the combat system. We have completely replaced everything in the combat system. We have levels, experience, type, advantage. We have a variable range within the attack, so it's not always the same exact value. We have uh, speed, which is your movement. We have crit. We have HP, MP, attack, defense, magic, uh, M defense, hit, dodge, and weight. And uh, we're working on special moves here. We have uh, Paper Arrow, Spit Wad, Paper Tornado, Book Slam, uh, Blanket of Paper, for Paper. And then for Scissors, we have Slash, Scissors Extend, Boomer Scissors, Rain of Blades. Then for Rock, we have Bash, Slingshot, Roll Out, and Heaven's Rock. None of these are final, except for Heaven's Rock, Rain of Blades and Blanket of Paper, although they may still change. We could definitely use some help in uh, the comments if anybody has any suggestion on moves they would like to see. On to the story. We have one large story that is about a war between two kingdoms with whispered legends. We have three large events in the past that you'll learn through flashbacks. We have four endings in the game, 25 boards, 16 unique maps, and each board will last from 10 to 45 minutes. And why it's such a long range is if you are a tactical RPG veteran, you might be able to hit 10 minutes. If you have a lot of experience with tactical RPGs or RPG veteran, just a regular RPG veteran, maybe you could get 15, 20. If you don't have experience with this type of game, 
it's probably going to take you 30 to 45 minutes per board. Plus, you'll be replaying boards multiple times. And as you can see here, I cannot show you anything below this point because below this point is spoilers and we don't want to spoil the game for you. But there's lots of stuff, as you can see from the scroll bar below here. All right, and that's it. I'm going to pass things over to Monkey and I will see you next devlog. I hope to hear from everybody in the comments. Hello, everybody. It's been a while since we've done one of these, but we've still been working and i got a couple of things to show this time first of all i'm sure sharky's already said theme of the game has gone over back to the rock paper scissors we were doing previously we're gonna return to the to project toaster but this will be a smaller scale game that we can finish a lot faster well i'll start with the first thing that i did and that was the level editor so before we were using tiled to make our levels but uh the way things were set up it just became kind of a hassle and it was easier to just make our own that can do whatever we want. So I'll start out and just open up the, the castle map that we have been using. And as you can see, Sharky's new tiles are right here. Looking all good. This tool's pretty simple. It's just, you can just draw tiles and stuff. They're all sorted in this menu. Uh, as well as objects like these trees or enemies. The old uh, fridge, blender, and toaster is still in there. And yeah, it just makes it easy to use you can lay out like collisions what's solid and what isn't you can change the color of those if you want like if you're working on a red map you don't want them to be red there's some options just to make things easier you can make things render and not render make it easier to see what you're working on you can outline objects or enemies uh, to make it easier to see them if they kind of blend in with the map too much and yeah, it's pretty much the level editor. Next up is a cutscene system. Pretty simple little system. I wrote up a quick little test cutscene here. So it's, you can make characters move. It says this is a test, moves, end of test. And then after like four seconds, it loads in the level. And if I bring over this file, you can see that this was all it took to make that. And it's just a sequence of commands that play one after another. So it adds the actor, which is the rock. Uh, it shows the little, this is a test dialogue, waits for that to finish. Moves the rock over somewhere else, waits for him to move. And then it plays that end of test thing and waits like four seconds. So that's pretty much that whole thing. And that's it then.